Hello Bodymetrics users. In this video we'll explain how to customize and edit the My Health Report for Mac OS X. The first thing you need to do is navigate to the Library folder. Now these folders are normally hidden, so from your Finder menu click on Go and press the Option key. You'll see the Library folder appear. If you have Mac OS X 10.6 or lower, or a version of the BodyView Professional software lower than 2.0.1, you'll go into Library, then open Application Support, open the Intellimetrics folder, then open the BodyView Professional folder. Inside the BodyView Professional folder is the report template file we're looking for, named report.rtfd. For Mac OS X 10.7 and BodyView Professional software versions 2.0.1 or higher, the path is different. I'm using Yosemite OS X 10.10.2, so let's walk through this together. We'll click on Go, hold down the Option key to bring up Library, then open the Containers folder, then the Intellimetrics.com.BodyViewProfessional folder, then open the Data folder. Next, we'll open the Library folder, Application Support folder, Intellimetrics folder, and finally, open the BodyView Professional folder. Again, the template file we want is named report.rtfd, and we need to drag that to our desktop and open the file so that we can edit it. The report templates consist of regular text and tag fields, and I've highlighted some examples here. The tag fields have a specific format and represent text and graphics that are inserted into the final report. For example, on the left side of the screen, we see the report template, and on the right side is the same section of the generated My Health report. In customizing your report template, there's several things that you can do. You can replace the default BodyView logo with your business logo by first highlighting it, and then deleting it or moving it to your desktop should you need it later. Navigate to the location or folder containing your logo. In this example, We'll go to my desktop and find the Grindstone Fitness logo. We can simply drag it in place or copy and paste it in. You may need to resize it so it fits nicely on the template. You can also edit any of the language or delete graphs and create multiple and different report templates. For example, maybe you want to create a very brief report that just shows percent body fat, recommendations, and trends graphs. We can delete the information we don't want from the template by highlighting and deleting those sections as you see I'm doing here. We'll go ahead and reformat this so the information we want looks nice and uniform. So we'll copy and paste the recommendations along with the percent body fat and trends graph tag field. You can also add social media links or even marketing messages to the report if you like. You can see I've added a couple here. You can make these clickable links within the report by right-clicking on the link text, which brings up a menu, and then you'll select the Make Link option as we're doing here. You can add any special promotions or marketing as well. Once you're done, you'll navigate to the top middle of the page where you see the current file name, report.rtfd. You can click on the small drop-down arrow next to the name, and then rename it briefreport.rtfd. You can rename it whatever you like, but the name must end in report.rtfd for it to be recognized by the BodyView software. If you're working with elite athletes, uh, you could create a report specific to that group and name it something like elitereport.rtfd as an example. There's many possibilities depending on what populations you work with. Once you're done with your editing, Close the file and drag your new template back into the BodyView Professional folder. You'll now be able to open up the report in BodyView, selecting from the drop-down menu. We'll select our newly created brief report, and you'll see all the changes you made displayed in the report. We want to thank you for choosing Bodymetrics, and happy reporting!